Hey guys, what's going on? Flavored Favors here, and welcome to Life Talk Fridays. Now, today I wanted to talk about something that affects every single person in North America. I wanted to talk about our career choices and deciding that what we want to do for a career and uh, what we want to do for the rest of our lives. And it's a really, really daunting thing because in high school, they tell you at like when you're in grade 10, what do you want to do for the rest of your life? And that's a really daunting question to be thrown on top of everything else, whether it being bullies or puberty or fucking just life changes in general. Like that's that's a really, really big task to put on somebody of that age. And I want to let you guys know right now, if you don't know what you want to do, that's okay. Um, I, a lot of people actually don't know what they want to do and a lot of people even outside of high school still aren't sure what they want to do so it's okay you guys aren't alone but I have some good news for you I have a couple um, things that you need to keep in mind when deciding what you want to do for the rest of your life um, first of all does it make you happy more important than anything else out there is whether it makes you happy or not once you find happiness in what you're doing everything else is going to come along uh, money will come along because the the biggest thing is confidence and that's the second thing is once you find what you like to do be confident about it because it makes you happy you genuinely want to be confident about your abilities doing the job to begin with so the the best part about that is is that if you're confident, it'll, it'll get you towards that promotion, towards that better job, towards that better spot of whatever makes you, moves you higher, or maybe moves you to a, a spot that makes you even happier, and more money will come along with that. Um, second thing, friends and activities and being social in general, if you give off an air of confidence, people see that and they want to know why you're confident so it's easier to make friends and it's easier to meet people because of the confidence that you're emitting this probably also help out with your love life if you're trying to find that special person being confident is being sexy so when it comes down to it a find what makes you happy now i know from personal experience that i did not know what i wanted to do at all like i got to grade 12 like i was in like my final couple weeks before i'm like i you know what i still have no idea what i want to do and i've been taking courses for things that i that i should be doing and like i was taking all the mandatory courses and i was taking things that just interested me and i tried to find something along that lines now when it comes to finding job opportunities you have to look around and you have to uh, look outside the box i want to say there's all sorts of jobs out there that aren't really um thrown into the public's eye because either a they're new or you know there's not many of them but that doesn't mean we don't need them uh coders for example people who write code and create apps and applications and programs are really really needed right now by companies like microsoft and um apple they need tons of guys to do that kind of stuff to make apps for people like you and me well someone's got to fill that job and someone's got to create that program and there's a lot of people looking for that kind of stuff right now uh as well the military now this isn't me i've been out about the military but um, to give them a minor shout out, a lot of people when they think about the military, myself included at first, um, was that military only means soldiers on the front line. It means you got a gun in your hand and it means you're going to fight people. Now, don't get me wrong, those are things that you're going to have to learn to do, but there's a lot of other jobs and a lot of other positions in the military that have nothing to do with being on the front line. Um... But it's just another idea of something to look into. Now, if you're more creative, you want to be a writer, go ahead. Like, sight, um, like look into it. Like, look into your dreams. Whatever it want is, if you want to be an artist, you want to be in a band, you want to make music, do that. Really, really do that because once you find happiness, like nothing else matters in life other than you really being happy and like getting away from all the issues you have right now going through high school. Once you find your job, you're going to be surrounded by people who enjoy the same things you do. And it's going to make you really happy. So just follow your dreams. Honestly, when it comes down to it, if you don't know what you want to do, head into your hobbies. Because there's people that make your hobbies a profession. And that might be an option for you as well. Now, I'm not saying that every person can do it what they want all the time. Like, we're all going to have shitty jobs. Part-time jobs are totally an option. It's totally something you got to do and something you got to learn to live with. But just start by doing whatever makes you happy because at the end of the day, this is your life and you decide what really happens. And uh, that's all I've got to really say about career choices. Um, if you guys found this uh, Life Talk Friday helpful at all, leave a comment in the section below. Let me know like what you thought about it and what you liked and what you didn't really like. Um, I was thinking about doing a Q&A here shortly for Life Talk Fridays about just whatever small questions you guys might have 
um, about about your life and about stuff that you want to hear. If you have a bigger topic that you want me to talk about or whatever, throw that in the comment section below too. And I love getting your ideas. I love hearing back from you guys. I love feedback. If anything I have ever said uh, through this entire series has helped you, please let me know. It's always good to hear back. But uh, that's it for this episode, guys. And as always, my name is Flavored Favors. You people are beautiful, and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.